So here we are back at the display and we're at the run screen right now. We're going to be talking about setting up the GPS receiver today. So we're going to navigate back to our home screen and then navigate over to the toolbox. And there we are going to go over to the GPS tab. And you can see here I have a GPS model. Uh, this is if I'm running uh, generic tractor software. Uh, it'll give you the model number there. And then we also have a option for GPS location. So I'm going to select this. And I can put in a custom location. If I put in a custom location, I have to put in the forward and the right offsets just so that the receiver knows exactly where it's at on the machine. Uh, but if I choose one of the predetermined models, that will gray out these areas because it's always in the center of the machine. And then I always have to put in a height offset. And that's to compensate for um, the height of the tires, uh, the flotation of the tires, air pressure, things of that nature. Um, up here you'll see the correction type, so if we have a RTK unlock receiver, or if we have a subscription service of some sort, like Omnistar, we would be able to put that information here as well. DGPS alarm, so if I'm not running on autonomous, let's say that I changed a WAS, um, I want to make sure that the differential GPS alarm is set to yes. This will allow the alarm to beep out the operator or alarm the operator if you lose that differential correction. Uh, scrolling on down, if you have a uh, perhaps have an activation code or something like that that you need to put in, uh, maybe for an unlock you can do that as well. And then you'll also have a connection type, so if it's running off a can or if we have a third party receiver uh, situation where we're importing that information from the RS-232 connection, we will be able to set that up here. This is different depending on which model that you have. The logging interval is defaulted to one second, so we're taking that recording every one second as we're traveling uh, through the field. And that's the basics of actually setting up the receiver for use, obviously making sure that it's connected uh, on the cab roof, and that's the, the main steps inside the display.